Prison is proof that time is our equalizer and most valuable asset. If you're the type of person that procrastinates, wastes time, bums around, or says that something is the future me's problem, then you really need to watch this video. When someone has committed a crime, they are sent to prison. This may be 6 months, 10 years, or even life. But what if we put a dollar value on all crimes? I know that in some aspects of society we do this already. But let's say someone has stolen something and instead of sending them to prison for X amount of time, we find them $100,000. The reason why we don't already do that in every case is because that the value of that $100,000 means something different to two different people. For one person, it could mean a lifetime of work and to another, it could mean a few hours, even a week of work. There is no equality in the value of money. As a human being, on average, you have been given, let's say, 65 to 100 years worth of the asset of time. Now, if someone is sentenced to two years in prison, then society is taking away two years of the currency of time. They are no longer in control of their time. They are told when to go to bed, when to wake up, when to eat, when to do pretty much everything. They have done something that society has considered bad. So, they have taken away their biggest asset, which is pretty much equal, and is been taken away and controlled. The most successful businesses in the world succeeded because they sell you back your time. Let's think Uber, Airbnb, social networks, technology, fast food, even the invention of cars, the microwave, factory farming. These were all invented so you, as a consumer, has more time. The problem is that more than ever we are wasting time. How often do you hear the phrase, mm, I'm just killing time. Now, if you're miserable, if you're stuck in a job that you hate for let's say 5 years, stuck in a job that has complete control over your, so many aspects of your life, your time, your emotions, and really how is that any different than being kind of stuck in a prison for 5 years? You're allowing your time to be taken away from you and control, your real only asset, and to what? Buy things that you're later going to throw away, or to, press, to, or to impress people that you don't really like for about 30 seconds. The point that I'm trying to make is I'm trying to get more people to understand the value of their time. We don't want to understand the value when it's too late, especially in my generation and younger. Humans have created so many amazing things to help us get time back and allow us the chance to enjoy being alive as conscious beings. Life is way too short to work a job that you hate or mess around with your emotions, no matter how good the money is, because they can never pay you enough for your time. Number one, cut people out of your life that don't add any value and waste your time, especially that one friend that is always 15 to 30 minutes late because they really do not value your time. Number two, do things that can save you more time in the future, like being organized around the house, organizing your wardrobe and meal prepping because these things are going to save you time. Number three is invest in your future. This could be learning a new skill, this could be education, this could be networking, this could be building real connections. And number four is stay fit and healthy because you don't want to have to end up cutting your time short in the future. So a big thank you for giving me some of your time and watching my video. If you haven't already, press that big red subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have anything else on this topic or you agree with me or disagree with me or if I missed a point, I'm trying not to make these videos too long. I could probably talk an hour on this topic. Then let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, keep being strong, happy and healthy.